It's Mike with Tech TV, and we're going to do a video that's always been a heated topic in the forums of virtue versus tadao, tadao versus virtue, which is better, why is it better, and kind of go from there. Now on the table here, I've got an Angel A1 Fly, and I have the tadao Angel A1 Fly OLED board from tadao, and I also have the virtue OLED board for the Angel A1 also. And I got to talk to you really quick about my experiences with both of these companies, okay? I've uh, been a consumer from Virtue Paintball back when they were AdvantagePB.com. As a matter of fact, a lot of people don't know that. If you go to AdvantagePB.com, it'll take you to VirtuePaintball.com. Um, they originally, you know, were called uh, Advantage Paintball. And also, Will from Tanau, I was one of Will's customers all the way back, I think it was the M3 board going all the way back to the alias back in like 2004. So I've had a lot of uh, time to try both of these boards out, try both companies out. And for the past four or five years, I've got to tell you that these two companies in terms of board manufacturing have been at the very, very top of in terms of customer service, in terms of having the software updates available. I mean, both of these companies, there's a reason why anytime somebody says aftermarket board, what should I get, Virtue or Tadao, Tadao or Virtue, because these are two companies that have just absolutely, absolutely spent day and night to give uh, tournament players and players also looking for the, you know, the most amount out of their guns, give them the absolute most control over their gun. Um, you know, and anytime I think, you know what I think, you know, Virtue's pulling ahead, Tadao comes out with something, they come back swinging. Anytime I think Tadao's pulling ahead, Virtue comes back at it. At the events, you know, now you're starting to see the Virtue booths there, they're packed with tons of good stuff, they're now coming out with the, they're now coming out with the t-shirts, which are awesome, they've got those, you know, really nice Virtue t-shirts, I've got a bunch of them, I love wearing them. You know, Virtue's now come out with a crown, they've also come out with the grips, the, uh, the guns and style grips, that's what I actually use on my vice. It's probably one of the most comfortable grips that are out there on the market. And, you know, Will from Tadao is always at the events too. And anytime I'm like, aha, look, Virtue's here. Will, uh, no, Will's here also. There he is. He's at the Bob Long Tent. So as long as you go to the events and you know where to look for them, they're always there. I've never seen an event where Will wasn't there and Virtue was or Virtue was and Will wasn't, at least since I've been here. So they're always there. They're always ready to update the boards, take care of any problems or anything like that. You know, going all the way back to all the PSPs and stuff like that. Um, in the past couple of years, I have noticed that the companies in terms of kind of their focus has changed a little bit and it's it in both directions have been very good Tadao has kind of focused on going more towards the OEM market meaning they now uh, do a lot of the software programming for the, some of the boards out on the market for instance the MacDev Militia Soft I had no idea that Tadao did that that original programming for MacDev for the Cyborg RX. I just noticed that that board was absolutely amazing. It was a great OLED board, and all of a sudden Will's like, yeah, it's my software. I, I did that for him. Also, you guys have seen some of the Kingman products. You know, the the the, the Kingman guns now, I mean, a lot of them have programming by Tadao that are in there. It says it right there on the box. So, and, and that's a great thing, because some of these companies desperately need to go with somebody like Virtue or Tadao, who knows what they're doing, who knows the tournament gun market, who knows what players are expecting from their guns and that's a great thing to go in that direction so there's a lot of gun companies that need a lot of help you know in terms of programming their board so and virtue has gone the other way really gone on and kind of expanded their product line you know they've got the virtue crown which is one of the best selling you know speed feeds that are on the market right now uh the grips which are really starting to take off and they're expanding their line as well so that's two directions that the companies are kind of taking, and, and, and you know, for many people, it doesn't matter. Like you'll see Tadao boards in the in the stock Bob Long guns, which are awesome. The the Vice, the Closer, I believe, also the new Victory has it. You know, the MacDev, the Spider, and stuff like that. I mean, any company that is willing to use Virtue or Tadao to do the stock programming on their boards, their boards are going to be badass. Now, let's talk about customer service because I've tested their I've tested their their boards out. You know, I've gotten them soaked in the rain and sent them in. I've, I've broken them myself as I'm taking them apart or, you know, or I've let them, you know, I've, I've set them on top of my toolbox and they fall off or something like that. I've broken both boards. Customer service, I haven't had a complaint 
in the last five years with either one of them. Now, you got to also understand, too, sometimes their customer service levels for both companies are going to drop a little bit if they have multiple back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back events. You know, if they're at Millennium one weekend and then they're at a PSP tournament and then a USPL tournament or something like that, sometimes their customer service is going to slack a little bit just because they're at the events, and that's okay. I'd much rather, you know, take uh, let them go to the events and find out what the customers really need from their boards than just to sit there and just do warranty repairs. I don't mind waiting an extra week. It's not a big deal at all. Um, I do know that with these boards, both companies also have done an amazing job of, in terms of, okay, the, the leagues change the rules, send in your board. It's like the day you find out that your particular league has changed the rules, you can send your gun right off. It's like they already know what the rules are before they're even changed. So I've seen both companies are on the spot, work day and night to make sure that their newest software is ready to go when the leagues change the rules. And, and I'm glad that, and I hope this is happening on the back end, and I can't confirm this, that many of the leagues are also communicating with the, with the software manufacturers or with the board manufacturers to make sure that you give them a little bit of leeway time before the players find out to make sure that all the guns are ready going into the new season. Nothing's worse than showing up to a tournament and finding out that you have the old software, you get pulled for penalties, and your experience is ruined, you know? Um, you know, I've, I've had Virtue boards when they went down to 13 balls per second, shipped it out, it was flashed. Tadao boards, shipped it out, it was flashed. Um, so, you know, customer service is amazing. Warranty, all the boards get a lifetime warranty. How do you start distinguishing which, uh, which board, whether it be the Tadao or the Virtue, how do you start to distinguish which board is going to be for you? This is going to come down to some very, very detailed research. Now, I used to work at Best Buy when I was in college. And, you know, these people would come in, they're getting ready to buy a computer, and they would have spreadsheets upon spreadsheets detailing everything about every computer that was already on the sales floor. And I'm there, which is better, which is better. I'm like, you've already done the research, man. This is like McDonald's. You point at the computer, I'm going to get it for you, you know? You really have to be that diligent in terms of downloading the manuals, researching the website. What is the, what is the website telling you? What is the manual telling you? What are they emphasizing as some of the features of the board? You really have to download both manuals and compare them side by side to see which one that you may like better. For instance, Say your gun comes with a optical switch, okay? Well, what if the aftermarket board that you're considering purchasing, whether it's an hour or virtue, is a micro switch? Well, you may not like micro switches. I love micro switches. I prefer them way over optical switches, but some people absolutely love optical switches. So you have to double check and make sure, wait a second, I really like the optical switch in this gun. Does this one come with a micro switch? So that's something that you may have to concern. Something else too, micro switch weight, okay? Some micro switches are 25 grams, some micro switches are 75 grams. What's gonna be the difference? Well the, seven, well, the 25 gram is gonna be very light. Barely even gonna hear the thing click. Very, very lightweight, there's not gonna be a lot of kickback on the trigger. 75, 80 gram switches are gonna kick back a little bit harder. So finding out which one of the micro switches could sway you one way or the other. You may like a little bit more of a positive kick on the trigger when you pull the trigger, you kinda of want that trigger to snap back. You may want the trigger to be as loose and flappy as possible, so you may want a 25 grand micro switch. Something else to consider, LED location. Download both pictures and just put them side by side and see where is the LED located. You know, your particular grips that you may have for your gun may have the LED location in a different spot. So, you know, you may want to download both of those and see where is the LED located at. Do I have to buy any sort of special grips for it in order for that LED to line up perfectly? Um, something else to consider too, membrane pad. Like for instance, the alias that I have, the alias OLED board that Tadao makes doesn't require that membrane pad that wears out once a year and you have, to, you have to go and trim it. You can now just take the, it has the stock, it has a new membrane pad in there with membrane buttons and everything and it works really, really well. So does it replace any parts on the board or does it replace anything in the board to possibly make it work better as you go to interface and something else to consider? You know, especially as you start getting into the OLED boards, do they come with grips? Do they don't come with grips? That's something to research on the packaging of the board that you're considering purchasing. Something else too, promotions and coupons. 
What is Virtue running right now? Is there any sort of trade-in or anything like that? I know Tadao right now is running a trade-in. If you trade in a, a, a stock board, they give you 15 bucks. If you trade in an old Tadao board, they give you 25 or something like that. What kind of promotions is Virtue running right now? Do they have anything like that? Any sort of buyer loyalty program? Is there any sort of trade-in program? Those are promotions that could possibly save you money. And if you do a little bit of research, you may save 15, you know, $15, 25, 30 bucks. Um, another thing to consider, updates. How much does it cost to update? Now I know what their policies are today and I'm not going to put that out there today, but you know, what, what if uh, Tadal charges $10 and Virtue says updates are for free? What if Virtue says updates are $10 and Tadal says they're for free and just got to pay for shipping or whatever? That's something else to consider, especially if you're an active tournament player. Um, some things too, can't, you know, it comes with an OLED board, especially these new expensive boards that are selling for $180. You know, can you update the screen? Is there any sort of web interface? You know, an OLED board is really nice, costs you 180 bucks. That's about three weekends of play. You know, what, what, what does the, does it just, is it just a bigger LED that just tells me what's going on or can I go in there and edit it? Can I create my own boot up screen? That's something that's really important also, especially when you start getting into the OLED boards. Um, so, you know, it, this, this, you know, this comparison, unfortunately, and I hope I didn't let anybody down on this video, this comparison is really, really, you can almost flip a coin and, and go with either one of these companies with no problems at all. You know, I used to ride motorcycles and I had a Hayabusa and my friend had a GSX-R1000. We would sit there and just blast our guns down, you know, blast our uh, motorcycles down the highway, and it didn't matter how his motorcycle was set up or how my motorcycle was set up. It seemed like at the very end of the straightaway, you could throw a king size sheet over either one of us. That is kind of like how these boards are. I will tell you this too, but this is something else that's kind of, kind of off the beaten path in terms of how to look at it. You know, professional paintball players in paintball don't make shit, okay? They don't make anything. They don't make anything remotely close to what they'd be making if they did any other sport at the professional level, okay? A lot of these board companies, Virtue and Tadal, sponsor professional paintball players. And if somebody purchases that board, they receive a small amount back to them, okay? One of the things that you can do is if you have a, a favorite team or a favorite paintball player that may be sponsored by either Virtue or Tadal, purchase their board and when you put it in the you know when you put it in the comments hey I'm a big fan of Oliver Lang that's why I bought the virtue board hey I'm a big fan of Miko Hooten and that's why I bought the Tadal board you know we're not these professional paintball players are never going to get paid anything unless the companies that are sponsoring them can be proved to that the people buying the products believe in the endorsement so that's something else you can kind of throw out there. What, you know, is your favorite team sponsored by Tadao? Is your favorite team sponsored by Virtue? You know, whoever is sponsored and whoever you like, if you buy a gun from that company, put it in the notes. Hey, you know what? I'm a big, you know, big fan of the Ironman. I see, you know, sponsor the Ironman. That's why I bought the Virtue board. Or hey, I'm a big fan of this company. You know, this uh, um, this team, and I know Tadao sponsors them. Let's go ahead and purchase that. And you know, I really appreciate you guys endorsing my favorite team or supporting my favorite team. So. Unfortunately, that is really, you know, after four or five years of spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars with, you know, and th probably thousands of dollars with both of these companies, I honestly can say it is so hard to figure out which one is better, which one isn't. Something else, it may come down to the individual, uh, individual gun that you have. For instance, what if you have an Alias, you want the OLED board? Well, right now, Tadal is the only company that offers that. What if you have a... Uh, an enemy or an alien. Well, right now, from what I've seen, Virtue is the only company that offers an aftermarket board. But in many cases, it's not that easy. So you're going to have to do some due diligence. You're going to have to download both the manuals, staple them, go buy them page by page one day while you're eating your, you know, while you're eating your Cheerios in the morning, and see if you can pick out something about a particular uh, which one of these brands that you like better and go with that one. But I can tell you right now, from five years of purchasing both of these boards, Tadal versus Virtue, you cannot go wrong with either one of these. It's gonna come down to which features do you particularly like best? You know, are they sponsoring your favorite pro team? That's important too. So, you know, like I said, you can't go wrong with either one of these boards. VirtuePaintball.com, TadalTechnologies.com, go check them out, do the research, see which one, you know, which one lines up best with your playing style, and give them a shot. Thanks for tuning in.